Having trouble finding that last coin you need for an upgrade in RE7? We've got you covered with a quick and easy guide on how to get the dirty coin found in the Resident Evil 7 Beginning Hour demo which carries over into the full game and works just like an antique coin. There's several ways to achieve this prize, we're going to walk you through one of the best ways to do it. This guide contains spoilers for the demo, so if you haven't played it yet, be sure to do that first. First, access the hidden passage via the fireplace to collect the fuse. That you can then use on the fuse box in the starting room. Second, head to the entryway to grab the bolt cutters, then use them on the cabinet by the kitchen to obtain the VHS tape. In the hallway on the other side of the kitchen, open the drawer to obtain the dummy finger. Head upstairs and press the stairs button to gain access to the attic, which contains an additional two items you'll need. The basement key, sitting on a table in the back room, and the object made of celluloid, sitting behind a stack of TVs, next to a creepy message on the wall. Once you've got everything, head back downstairs and through the moldy door on the first floor. Near the bathroom you'll find another drawer you can open, containing a blank notebook. Head further down the hallway and unlock the door to the basement with the basement key. Go downstairs and take the lockpick that's near the boiler. Head back upstairs to the kitchen and look for a locked drawer to use the lockpick on, which will grant you the axe. Open your inventory and combine the dummy finger with the object made of celluloid to create the dummy palm. Now you have everything you'll need to get started. Remember the creepy message in the attic? Now that you have the blank notebook in your inventory, go up to the attic and examine the message. You should hear a child laughing, and the notebook will now have a message written in it. This riddle references the knocked over bookcase in the hallway on the first floor, right underneath the clock. Head over there, then examine the dummy palm in your inventory, and rotate it so that it's pointing at the bookcase. After a moment, you'll hear a sound indicating that you pointed at the correct spot. The next step is to approach the boarded up doorway at the end of the hall in the attic. This will trigger a second laugh, and a new riddle in the notebook. This riddle requires you to go through the door in the basement. Walk up to the valve on the gurney, but don't take it. Now return to the door as Jack Baker shuts you in. Press the button prompts to open the door and escape to safety. Turn around and avoid the monster by running into the alcove to the right and up to a doll on a shelf. Take the attic key that's next to the doll and avoid the molded while running back to the door you entered. It's okay if you get hit, just try not to die. You can now return to the room without worrying about the molded coming back. Now, walk up to the stretcher with the body on it and point at it using the dummy palm. You hear a noise to indicate you pointed at the correct spot. Along the stairway wall in the first floor hallway, look for a strange painting of a person with a bag over their head and attack it with the axe. You'll hear another laugh and find a third message in your notebook. From here, go to the alcove under the first floor stairs and use the dummy palm to point at the boarded door. You'll hear another sound indicating that you pointed to the right spot. The next step is nearby. Walk out into the hallway, look at the mirror, and do a quick 180 degree turn to trigger the next laugh. From here, head up to the attic and to the back room, and look for where the blue and white wires cross on the rafters. Point at it using the dummy palm. Go to the room of the attic with the phone and pick it up.
now head back down to the basement. In the alcove off to the side where you found the attic key, you'll see a doll on the ground. Crouch and look at the doll for about a second, and you'll hear another laugh. The final message will appear in your notebook. Now head to the kitchen, and note where the light shining through the window creates four suns on the table. Point at it with a dummy ball. You'll hear the final noise indicating you pointed at the correct spot. Head up to the attic. The previously closed door next to the message on the wall should be unlocked with five bloody handprints on it. One from solving each riddle. Head inside to claim your prize. With the dirty coin in your inventory, head to the nearby ladder to finish the demo. Whether you escape using the attic key or become infected doesn't make a difference. Save your data when prompted. The next time you start up Resident Evil 7, you'll be prompted to import your demo data into the full game. Next time you open an item box, you'll find the dirty coin inside. It functions just like an antique coin, so use it to finally get the powerful magnum or that last helpful health boost. Thanks for watching! For more Resident Evil, be sure to follow the Resident Evil YouTube channel and check out the Resident Evil Twitter and Facebook for all the latest news.